February means a bunch of new exclusive interviews on Dr. Phil. Yeah, and he joins us live now to talk about several shocking cases that we've heard about. First, tell us about today's show, Doctor. An overweight man bikes across America? Well, or does he? I mean, that's the whole question. You know we look at the Internet a lot on the Dr. Phil Show because it's a frontier for scams, manipulation, getting money from people, and worse. Uh, and today we're talking about a self-proclaimed fat guy that's biking across America. Great story. He says, I've lost my job. I'm in debt. My wife has left me. She says, I'm just a lazy slug sitting on a couch. I'm going to show everybody. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get on a bike. I'm going to bike across America. I'm going to lose all this weight in the process. going to show people I've got some gumption. And here I go. Well, it kind of gets picked up. It goes viral. The media's all over it. He's got some uh, GoFundMe accounts. He's raising thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Problem is, he just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Um, I started doing some math on this. It looks like he's averaging about, I don't know, two tenths of a mile a day. Um, I, he says he's riding six or seven hours a day. I, I got out a map. If I was keeping his pace in LA, after three days, I'd still be able to look over my shoulder and see my house. Uh, so I, I, I have him here, I have the wife that left him here, I have this group of what he calls haters that are tracking him across America here. Uh, we're just going to drill down and see, is this guy just disorganized or is he a scam artist? Because the internet sometimes, as you know, it can be great, but it can also be a place to take people's money. Right, so we're right. going to drill down and find out what's going on today. All right, and Dr. Wednesday's exclusive, a story ripped from the headlines? <clears throat> You know, this is where it turns dark on the Internet. Everybody has seen this tragic story of Nicole Lovell, 13-year-old teen that was tragically murdered, and two Virginia Tech students have been arrested uh, for that murder. And uh, supposedly she was talking to this one guy on Kick, which is a social media platform. Parents, 40% of teens are on this app which is very anonymous. You can't track who you're talking to. Supposedly, she's talking to him on this app. He eventually, allegedly, lures her. She leaves her bedroom window at night and is found stabbed to death and thrown by the side of the road. Another Virginia Tech student now arrested, a woman, uh, allegedly helped him after the fact. I have an exclusive interview with her father, uh, her brother, her stepmother, and they tell us a lot about this case that parents need to hear. You hear what these people have to say, it could save your child's life. And he also tells us some things that went on inside a closed hearing and makes some observations of this woman's mugshot. This whole case could break open after our show on Wednesday. This is a cautionary tale, and I think it's going to have a big impact on this case as well. This is a must-see episode on Wednesday. Definitely something parents need to check in to see. Thank you so much, Dr. Phil. And you can catch Dr. Phil's emotional interview with Nicole Level's father Wednesday at 3 right here on Channel 2.